Well, thank you so much, Cindy, for taking the time today. I really appreciate it. Ah, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Oh my gosh. So first thing I got to ask you, okay. So Mm -hmm. how does it feel to literally be in a Hallmark Christmas movie? Like that's like the dream, right? It is the dream. I'm so actually, I'm so excited because I keep saying this has been something I feel like I've manifested. I've, it's been on my bucket list forever. I keep saying, you know, if you, to every director, I was like, if you have a Hallmark Christmas, you know, I'm available. <laughs> and I finally get to do one. And I'm so happy with it. And I was just so happy with the cast and the crew. So I am very excited. And it was just, it's just a blast all like start to finish. Yeah. I mean, like my husband's obsessed with Hallmark Christmas movies. Like his parents <laughs> got him those socks that say like, you know, on the back of them, like I'm watching a Hallmark Christmas movie or whatever. Yeah. So when I told him about, I'm like, I get interviewed someone for a Christmas movie. He goes, but is it a Hallmark Christmas movie? I go, actually it is. He was like, what? <laughs> That's so, the coolest. so he, he <laughs> might tune in. See my family on the East coast, like a lot of my family lives in Nova Scotia, Canada. Mm-hmm. And this was exciting because I was just excited for them to watch it. They love Hallmark Christmas movies and it's something that my grandparents can watch. Yeah. And so I was really excited to to share that with them. I feel like there's so many people that love just a holiday, a holiday story, our holiday story. Yeah, <laughs> right. That's shameless plug. No, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but it is, it's like, we always talk about how, like in my family, especially like these two months, like as soon as November 1st hits, it's like, I love to just celebrate Christmas and be in the holidays for like two months, you know, because yeah, you yeah, need they that. Were ready. They were ready yeah. to air November 2nd. And so it was it was right at the turn, which I love too. I mean, I saw I live in New York. And so before Halloween, I saw Christmas trees starting yeah. to go up. <laughs> and and holiday decorations and the stores having ornaments on display. So it I was like, okay just give me till November 1st and yeah. then I'm in. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, when did you, so when did you film this? Like what month was it? It was end of August, early yeah. September. That's what I was going to say. So it's probably not Christmas time it, yet, obviously. No. <laughs> no, it was warm. We were filming in Kelowna, BC and the weather in Kelowna, BC, especially this August was so up and down. So some days it would be a hundred degrees and we're in our mittens and parts. Yeah. And people often say this about holiday movies, making it seem acting cold when it's not cold. But then some days, because it is BC and unpredictable weather, it would be raining, a torrential downpour, and we would be actually freezing. So it was just really the luck of which day you were filming and how hot or cold it was. I can't even imagine like it's sweating, like yeah. trying to be cold. I know I got pretty lucky that not a lot of my scenes I not a lot of my scenes were on the actual really hottest moments of the day Uh, but there was one day where we had to do a a walking scene into a town hall building and it was oh my gosh it was so hot because I didn't realize it's a desert it's a desert and so it was the sun was beating down we were sweating the makeup is starting to get dewy yeah (laughs) Well, what is it like trying to get in like the, I guess, holiday spirit, like before the holidays? Well, this sounds so cheesy, but it actually was quite easy to have a lot of fun because of the cast and the crew and the producing team. They were just all, we were all filming in a town that we didn't live in too. Most of us, some of the crew Mm -hmm. lived in Kelowna and, and some of the cast, but most of us weren't from there. So we were, it felt like we were all coming together for this common cause and we were just ha- ready to have a good time and so it was easy to get in the holiday spirit and have fun and and joke around and feel like it was the holidays oh I love that so how would you describe this movie for people uh, that are looking for a fun holiday movie to watch you know it's a story of how our past can affect our present and future and everything comes together sometimes how it's meant to be (laughs) and and it is really a relatable story of two couples trying to find love Mm -hmm. and and in a very modern way 
and it's 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 really sweet because it's it's um the two stories mirror each other mm -hmm. and so I got to play opposite Gavin Langelo who is my counterpart and then we mirror the story of of Nikki Deloach and Warren Christie who are not quite sure how to find their footing at first and then and really come together and and make it happen so it's it's a it's a relatable story for the holidays oh I love that I love that did you have a favorite holiday tradition favorite holiday tradition that's a good that's a good question I my family and I were very tight-knit and we always spend the holidays together mm -hmm. and on Christmas day we're always together watching movies and playing board games and cooking so that's our you know it's simple but it's fun do you have a holiday tradition uh well we <laughs> It goes back because we move a lot. So like yeah. we've moved a lot. So like when we were in New York, it was always like go to um, my in-laws house. But now my mom comes out here because she's in Florida. So we kind of vary. But I think our main thing is like we always like bake together, yeah. which is we always bake cookies. And we have this recipe that's been a family recipe forever. And we always do that no matter what. Like and some yeah. days, sometimes like last year, we didn't even do it till Christmas Eve because we were like, we tried to do it like the week before, but we were like, the girls were like, Santa doesn't have cookies. We were like, oh no, we need to make cookies. <laughs> this is he's coming tonight. We need to have them. So, baking immediately. Yes, exactly. I love I love baking. I feel like I don't bake enough throughout the year, but it is a fun thing to do around the holidays. Yeah, same. We end up like it's like once like right around Thanksgiving to the end of the year, it's like we end up baking a lot yeah. more than we do the rest of the year. Um, yeah. I, I want to ask you too about It's a Wonderful Knife. I love that movie. It's so much fun. Very different. <laughs> from so this it couldn't be yeah, so yeah. different. Different ends of the holiday spectrum. Yes. Can you talk about being a part of what you know two completely opposite holiday movies? Oh my gosh! Yeah, it it. That was one of those onset moments where you show up prepared and then you just, it's not at all what you, what you expected. Cause sometimes you don't know the tone going in, especially when it, there's no precedent. There's no movies to follow. I watched the director's movies beforehand, but it was a completely different genre almost. And so it was a really fun experience working with Justin Long and Joel McHale. Mm -hmm. Also because Justin Long just improved so much. You know, there's not a lot of improv when you're moving like this in a in a TV movie, but he gave so much room for everybody to play and then he really set set the tone. So, and it was, oh, this is camp horror. This yeah. is Christmas, Christmas camp horror. And so from there, once once we all got on set and started working with with Justin, it was like, okay. I know what we're, I know what we're doing and I'm just going to go for it. Especially I, there's this one, one of my favorite moments in that movie is when I go and take a Christmas present and try to like whack her with a Christmas present. <laughs> yeah. And then she like whacks or no, like I'm about to whack her. No, I'm, I have like a knife or an axe or something. And then she whacks me with a Christmas, Christmas present. present yeah. yeah. And then I'm just like, this is crazy. It is amazing. It is like the, the most wild Christmas movie and that's in thanks to Michael Kennedy's writing <laughs> it was, oh that was a experience that, I mean that that movie is so much fun I love it I love Joel and Justin too so like I can't even imagine what they're like in real life like they must just be like you talk about improv they've got to be just hilarious they're hilarious and they're just so professional I mean it, there were no questions you know you don't you don't have to nobody was telling them what to do they were setting the 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 scene and then mm -hmm. working off Justin because I, I got to play his his wife. At some moments he he would look to me and I didn't realize that there was gonna be a lot of improv in this. And so I got to have some I got to have some fun and one of my improvised moments made it in and that was that was enough for me to be like, wow, I'm really happy with with that experience. What was it? What what was it that made it in? Oh, he looked at me and there's he was like get put dinner in the microwave for him, you know, heat it up when he gets home. Cause he's going to have to work real late. And he looks to me, I don't have a line there. And I just said, I love the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> and and that made it in the movie. <laughs> so great. I love it. Oh my gosh. 
See, <laughs> two yeah. different kinds of holiday movies that can help get you in the spirit for the yes, holiday. Yes, two very, di- very different movies, but <laughs> both equally is equally as fun one is not as there, there is a romantic element actually to it's a wonderful life that's true there is. yeah so it's a bit of a rom a rom horror, a rom horror. like that <laughs> rom comedy <laughs> horror rom-com yeah. horror there you go <laughs> can't be yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then real quick before we go I do want to ask you about Sawtooth Mountain of course so what yes. can you tease about that Sawtooth Mountain is a thriller suspense horror film we just wrapped it in vancouver bc and it is a bigfoot themed Mm. movie three law students who go away for the weekend and run into trouble with some some elements in the woods (laughs) yeah that's what i can that's what i can tease right now we we just wrapped and i'm so excited about it because it really just was one of those experiences where I felt like I got to be part of it from a very early stage. And I was so grateful to have been brought on. And now we're going to go through post and hopefully get it out there next year. Awesome. Well, I can't wait for it. And thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you for having me. So nice to meet you.